to the range today. So pardon any gunfire you may hear. It's ours. It's dead quiet out here except for the wind. We just mounted this CV Life 6 to 24 uh, 50 millimeter scope on my son's uh, Remington 783 30-06. We're going to try and get it sighted in. We've just done a bore sight. We're pretty close. We've got a target out at 100 yards. We're going to be using some of my cast bullets that I powder coated. Not the best job in the world, so i got to destroy the evidence. So we're going to see how we do, uh, see how our bore sight is, and we'll run back and forth and let's see what happens. And we weren't even on paper on that first set, so we're trying another. You're going on a black target, right? Yep. I can find it. Okay, there it is. Low. It was low? Okay, yeah, I can see it low. It's 7 o'clock, so go up 12 clicks and go right 4 clicks. go up? 12? Yeah, well not 12, but we'll see. That magazine doesn't feed very well, does it? about right where it was when I pulled the trigger. Uh, go left, two no. clicks. No, that's not, you're not hearing me. That's pretty, that's pretty damn That's where cool. it was when I pulled the trigger. That's why I said as soon as I pulled it, I said that okay, was right. Okay, well then don't click. So watch. If, you, if you're calling your shot, then yeah. No, this one Put should, one more in, this that'll one give us three. On. like that one was right in the same hole you put the other one. Could have been. One more. And we'll go down and we'll check it. Wait for this wind to die down. Uh, yeah, these 15, 20 mile an hour winds make it fun. Oh, that looked really good. Okay, let's walk down and let's see where we're at. All right, center target, right? Right. Okay, center target. Let's see how close we are. Five in. Now you're just not having any luck with that, are you? That magazine just not feeding well for you.
extracting? Well, no, it just didn't feed it all the way. Now it's trying to double feed. Again. Might be my crappy reloads. Find out when I get my 30 out six. That's why. 31 in there. Uh -huh. Trying to double feed, huh? Sure is. And I can't get it out. So you want six right and six up, and that should put us right in the right in the cone of influence. Hey, going hot. Going hot. Same target. all my bullets out? They yeah, fell out through the hole. <clears throat> Failure to feed. Put the chronograph out and see what my reloads are chronographing at. I feel like about 27, 28. Do they feel pretty good? This Remington always feels good. I have to say. pretty fast. The calculations are right. We should be getting about 2,400 feet per second. That was well in last one. Called that one? Yeah. The others felt good? Yeah, they did. Okay. This should be pretty tight. Let's see. To ensure accuracy, now we've changed over to some 150 grain full metal jacket with 56 grains of BLC2. These are going to be a little hotter, but they should be a lot more accurate than the cast bullets. Let's see how we do with that. Shoot the black target. That way I can call them. Those are shooting C targets. Going hot. Going hot. Just slightly left. Just keep holding that. Let's see where we're at. Yep, you put that one right on top of the other one. Um, let me take a look at this. I'm going to have you adjust your scope. It looks like we're a minute and a half out. So it's pretty right. Measuring it with my scope. So go four clicks to the right. And let's take out that center now. Because your elevation's good. Center target? Or the center of that target? Yeah, take the center of the target out. Copy that. We'll see. Uh, you nudge right, right up against the red. And two more right. I would go three to the right. Did the shot feel good? 
Slightly high. Yeah. Put one more in. Let's see where we're at. One more. You might you might Bingo nudge that one. Let's try the reload. I mean you're in deer country. Let's try one reload on that. That one was way left. You're about no, two wasn't. and a half inches left on that one. No, it wasn't. That was straight below. Is that your last shot? That was. Well, that All was right. a reload. Let's go pace that. First four were AMAX. That fifth one was a reload. Is cast? No. Use this uh, full metal jacket. I thought that's what you're using. I used four of them last time, not five. Those are a lot more accurate than the cast bullets. Black target. You're going hot? Yeah, going hot. Yep, the black target again. And the wind just died way down. Just slightly above the red. About a half an inch. Keep doing that. Let's see if we get a group. Same hole. Can't tell. No, that one was just below, I think, actually. Oh, that was the same hole. Okay, yeah. go down one. Three clicks. Try two. That's three quarters of an inch. That was low and right. Oh, it's low. Recoil okay on those? Yeah, not bad. 56 grains of BLC too, man. That'll empty a bottle pretty quick. Looks like you're put, still putting everything in the same damn hole. Did you go down three clicks? No. There's two more. Damn it. I swear to God. I know these bugs are bad it's out here. It's the same today. one. I'd want to fly up my nostril a little while ago. It's the same one. God damn it.
me see your let me see that round. Huh. Bad primer. This guy didn't fucking fly. That's why I use cellular and block primers. Those are loaded with uh, Remingtons. One less fly. Below the dot now. You got two in that same hole below the dot. Three and the one above it. I know. I mean, you're one way or the other. You can't get that. You can't get that red. It's like them bullets are afraid of that red dot. Let's try one more. <sighs> Just slightly left of the red dot. That wasn't high. Okay. Same slightly hole. below the red dot. Really? Well, you're everywhere around that quarter inch red dot. I mean, you're within an inch. Oh, I still have one more. Sorry. Okay, one more. Last shot. That was high and left. That's not anywhere it where it looked like it was headed. That was nowhere near where it looked like. When I pulled that one, it looked like it might have been a little bit high, but. Well, it was high and left. It didn't look like it was anywhere near that left, though. Mm. That's what I'm This is my FN Mauser, made, it's model 1935. Originally it had all of the full wood on it. About 30 years ago I broke the stock at the wrist. I got a replacement stock, it never worked right, uh, it was not in good shape, so I put this Hogue over molded stock on here, it's free floated now, um, just as a way to show you it's free floated, the old dollar bill, so anyway it's free floated all the way up here to the, where it can't free float anymore, so it's as free floated as you can get. I also put a Timney trigger set at three and a half pounds in here. Um, it made it a whole new rifle. I'm going to just shoot a few uh, reloads with uh, my cast bullets with this and shoot out here at this uh, target at 100 yards. With iron sights, my eyes aren't really good enough to be shooting 200 yards. Even though this is capable, I've shot deer at th over 300 yards with this thing. Back when my eyes were good, they're not so good anymore. So I'll just show a little love to this. This is an old old war horse. Uh, I'll insert some pictures into it. And um, uh, let's just get a little bit of love with this. And we're setting at about 100 degrees temperature. Uh, it varies between 98 to 101. So figure 100 degrees. We've got our little canopy here and that's helping. And the wind just picked up again. So let me get on this. 
See if I can even hit this target. Yeah, I keep forgetting how brisk that trigger is. <coughs> I know I'm hitting the target, I just don't know where. Can't see it from here. Which one are you going for? Am I hitting the black target? I couldn't tell, I wasn't ready. Okay. Well, just looking at the dust and things, I, it looks like I'm hitting it. Oops, wrong way. Crank this back up a little bit more, it's starting to settle in. It's always been a pretty accurate rifle. God, that trigger just, it amazes me every time that thing goes off. It's uh, a lot like my 222 trigger, uh, except that's a little lighter. This one, like I said, is three and a half pounds. Okay, now why am I way up? Okay, my sling swivel. And this is in hunting configuration. I think that's probably a little bit high. Okay. I have three more of these. Like I said, I'm trying to uh, hide the evidence of my lousy powder coating. I will get better as time goes by. This winter I'll be doing a lot of casting and powder coating. That was way low. Of course these are cast bullets, so I don't expect a lot of accuracy out of them. That one was a little tight. Good. How'd I do it? I hit the target at all? Let's put a couple of these full metal jackets down there. If I've got an 8 inch group, I'd be really surprised. Again, like I say, my eyes are not as good. That's why almost everything I have has an optic on it. But I'm not going to destroy this and put an optic on it. So basically, I just don't shoot a lot of it anymore. Yeah, that one had a lot more zing to it. Of course, these are my full metal jackets. They're probably cooking out there somewhere between 27, 2800 RPM. Uh, feet per second. I don't have uh, uh, my chronograph set up. Yeah, that's got a lot more zinc to it. Let's see if I get any more bad primers. These Remington primers that I used on this load. And this is probably about a pound and a half lighter than when it had the wood stock on it. So uh, yeah, it has a little more recoil than what it did when it had the wood stock on it. But it's still manageable. I mean, it's 30-06. It is what it is. That one felt pretty good. That's about it for the 30-06 day. Move on to something new.